Greetings, pod fans! I'm wearing a hat! I've been told that the first 15 seconds of a video is the most important to, like, grab attention. So that was my opening pitch. I hope it worked and everyone hasn't left. For as long as I can remember, I've always been a nerdy boy. I like nerd stuff. And I've spent the past couple of years kind of looking at other groups of people, you know? Not to put anyone in a box, but some people fit into boxes. And looking at them in comparison to nerds. And I've found a group of people that they're pretty much the same, despite looking and seeming entirely opposite. I'm talking, of course, about fans of sports. Fans of sports and nerds. This man is crazy. Someone stop him. But let me just go through the similarities. We dress up in weird costumes. We get overly excited about things that don't really have an effect on our lives at all. We go to large meetups where there are other people who enjoy the same things as us. We idolize people that we probably will never meet. And we spend maybe too much on merchandise. And that merchandise one, I always thought that we were on the same level with that kind of a thing. But recently I found something odd. And this was due to the release of a soccer jersey, which I actually looked at and I wanted to buy. So first of all, I'm going to talk about a nerdy thing so that we can put it in perspective and, you know, like compare and contrast and all that kind of fun jiggity jazz. So this is a figure of Kamina from Gurren Lagann. It's $165. It's not even out yet. It's it looks lovely. It's from my favorite anime in the entire world. And I, looking at that, would probably buy it. I'm probably not going to. I'm not really a figure kind of guy. I don't really have a place to put them and I would never really have people over. So what's the point in having a bunch of figures if no one's going to come over and see them? But what I'm saying is I would spend $165 on that, that piece of plastic, just because it's something that I like. And if it was something that I would like to display, I would definitely buy it. On the other side of things, um, a jersey was released, as I said, recently, and it is the pitch black Liverpool jersey. It's limited edition, just a single run, never going to be sold again after that point. It's marking the 125 year anniversary of the club becoming a thing. I saw it and thought, wow, I really want to get that. The price for this is 90 pounds, which, um, an average uh, soccer jersey would be like 60, 70. So we're talking, you know, 30, 20 pounds more. And when looking it up to see, you know, should I buy this thing? What is it? Does it look good? I found a bunch of tweets where people were giving out that this was too much. It's an extra 20, 30 pounds for something limited edition to mark a huge thing. Because 125 years in existence, that's your 125th birthday. And it just baffled me that people weren't willing to pay, you know, an extra 20, 30 pounds to get, like, this piece of history that looks really nice. In the end, it seems like it was just a vocal minority because, uh, <laughs> by the time I got to look at it, the page showed me this. So maybe it was just a few people shouting and these were the ones that were picked up and people saw, but it's really weird the difference in, like, worth that people, like, put on things. Because I know people who have spent thousands of euro on nerd things, and to think that people were giving out about an extra 20 euro for something limited edition, one single run, to mark a, a big thing, I don't, I don't get it, because it's not something that you need to buy. Why, why complaints? I don't... Mm. Sorry, I just saw that, and um, it was something that I was genuinely interested in maybe getting, but it's impossible now because it's permanently sold out. And I just wanted to, I don't know, it was such a weird thing to see that people, you know, they didn't need to buy that. No one was holding them at gunpoint going, spend that 90 pounds, boy! I get it, people go on the internet to complain about nothing. I do it all the time, but... That was a weird one for me, because, like, in my mind, sports fans and, like, nerds, anime fans, sci-fi fans, fantasy fans, fantasy fans, are very similar when it down comes down to the whole thing. I know that there is this cultural, like, one's cool, one's weird, but I don't know. I, like, yeah, people are weird. And obviously, I'm not saying that every sports fan is, like, unwilling to spend money on, like, limited edition stuff. It just struck me as weird that it was a there was a large number of people doing this. So yeah, I guess that's all for today. Um, if you've noticed, there's like a lot of moving text and like spinning things and all that kind of jazz. I'm currently teaching myself After Effects, so if you start to notice a lot more like just 
things happening. That's the reason for that. It's a lot of fun. It's something that I've wanted to do for a while because I really like the like text animations and cool like um, title cards and stuff like that. So I'm working on it. I'm not very good, but I'm getting better. So um, just thought I'd let you know why I'm, you know, there's so much movement when text appears on screen. I'm practicing. So yeah, that's all for today. I will talk to you all soon when I'll have something else. I'm not sure, uh, but we'll figure it out. Um, yeah. So yeah, just slow on. Woo